Hey there, everyone reading this, welcome to rock bottom. The Pistons just lost to the San Antonio Spurs 119-107, at home no less, improving their record to an awe-inspiring 17-21. Hello darkness my old friend. Let's just say if NBA Rock Bottom had a loyalty punch card, Pistons fans would have a few free sandwiches or haircuts by now. The Pistons at one point led by as many as 12 in this game and ended the first quarter with a six-point lead, but much like the game against the Jazz on Saturday, it all fell apart. The Spurs shot 54% from the field thanks to countless Pistons miscommunications on the defensive end. Pretty easy to shoot 54% when it's wide open looks. Dar DeRozan dropped a cool 26 points and LaMarcus Aldridge dropped 25 as well but truthfully, every spur looked like an all-star. Hell, Bryn Forbes dropped 15 and looked like a better pick than either Luke Kennard or Stanley Johnson and he went undrafted. Spurs gonna Spurs. If you want me to try and spin some positivity for the Pistons, it's that Blake Griffin continues to score at will when needed and Bruce Brown is a defensive cornerstone. Every other player should be on the block. Andre Drummond looks like he's already checked out. Reggie looks pissed that he's getting blamed for the team's struggles. Stanley Johnson and Langston Galloway might pop up on your phone as an Amber Alert tonight because they were Mia and Luke Kennard is just not in NBA shape. What's my man doing at practice? Thankfully, the Pistons have to look forward to something that's a surefire cure for a spiraling team with seemingly toxic chemistry, a five-game West Coast road trip. We'll see you all Wednesday night for Blake's return to the Staples Center. In the meantime, who needs a drink? Roll call.